Time now for Monday Afternoon Quarterback with CBS 4 Sports anchor Jim Barry. And what a weekend <laughs> for University of Miami fans oh, and for the, the whole program. I mean, this is really, this is about as good as it gets and without true. winning a national title. Mm -hmm. But they have been in the national spotlight. ESPN was on campus doing yep. their live show. And how big did they come up Saturday night against Notre Dame? They could not have scripted that any better. I mean, it was really a remarkable game from start to finish. I mean, the Canes, frankly, made Notre Dame look like they didn't belong in the same field with them. And for them to roar out to a 27 to nothing lead at halftime, everything was clicking for this team. Malik Rozier, a lot of folks doubted him as the leader of the offense, but look what he, how excited he was in the defense. Four turnovers. It was just splendid performance by everybody. A pick six, taking it to the house. The Canes winning big 41 to eight, and they left no doubt that they absolutely <laughs> deserve that number two ranking right now. In fact, you know what? They would be number one yeah. if Alabama had lost, and they nearly did. Wow. And pick six, not only do you get to wear the chain, but you get the touchdown <laughs> as well. Yeah. That's a pretty good deal right there. Still a couple of regular season games left for mm -hmm. the Canes, and of course, everybody wants to look ahead to the ACC championship game against Clemson. Against Clemson. Yeah. Of course, there's a little bit of history between these two programs. Uh, Al Golden was fired after a loss to Clemson. Mm. Talk to us about Mark Richt's team and, and what they could bring to a title game uh, against Clemson. Well, it's interesting because, you know, what? when uh, UM first joined the ACC, everybody said, well, they're going to be in the title game every year, and they've never gone. So this really would be a milestone for this program to get there. I think Mark Richt has brought a sense of discipline to this football team that it didn't have. And I think, let's be honest, you don't win 14 games in a row going back over two years without having some talent. Yeah. This is a good football team, but the Canes in prior years, especially under Al Golden would have a lot of silly penalties. They would beat themselves. They no longer do that. And I think that's the big difference. And the coach just seems so relaxed. You spent a little time with him the other night on campus at very, the pep rally. Very chilled. Everybody's yeah. going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, Coach, what about this? Well, I just think that uh, we just have to keep doing what we're going to do. And if we win, we'll move up. And if we lose, we won't. I mean, that's the a, guy is very, very even. That's a very good Mark Richter. <laughs> Thank person. you. All right, let, let's talk about uh, Braxton Berrios because this guy, he scored an unbelievable touchdown in the first quarter of the yeah. game on Saturday night. And then he walked off of the field. He was sort of mocking the whole <laughs> Catholics versus convicts thing. And yeah. This is a young man who's up for college football's man of the year. It's like he's got handcuffs on there, right? Yes. <laughs> Does he have a point, though? I mean, is it is it time to sort of put that to rest, the whole idea of the U.M. being made up of a bunch of bad guys? Well, you know what? It's interesting. I will say this. When I first saw the turnover chain, I frankly wondered about the image and if that's what U.M. now wants to project. But I have come around because I see that this is really swell up the nation and frankly I think that the UM, chain yes yeah and I think that UM enjoys being the bad boys of college football they did back then they're embracing their uh, heritage their history of being that kind of team and it has certainly worked for them but clearly when you look at this team uh, no they are not thugs these are smart young men uh, devoted football players and Mark Rick that has a very polite team they're smart well coached and well behaved. A lot of people very proud of this program mm -hmm. here in South Florida after the showing that they put in uh, over the weekend. Absolutely. Jim, good to talk to you. Thanks so much. Of course.